Welcome to part two of the same sci-fi let's play of Star Wars Empire War Force of Corruption. This is the galactic map overview. Through Imperial and Rebellion planets will spread corruption and rebuild the Zon Consortium into a crime network that once again will be feared throughout the galaxy. Then we will need defilers. Mission log updated. Okay, mission log. That's not the mission log. Build a defiler. Recruiting. Defiler. Alright. I'll give you a quick overview of what this is. This is a galactic map. Down here you build land units. This tab builds your space units. I'm going to build a bigger space station as best as I can. If you roll in, you can get a closer look at what's in your fleet, so I can put those in their own fleets. That little icon means they're stealth, so. There's a remote Imperial colony on Hanager. If we start by subverting the Imperial officials there, it shouldn't attract undue attention. Vision log updated. Spreading corruption. So as you can see, it takes different periods of time to jump around to different planets. Of course, we could set up another racketeering operation there, but I believe in order to truly make our mark, we need intimidation. Tactical battle imminent. Move quickly, otherwise our forces will be overwhelmed by Nobri assassins. I have heard destroying the base camps and killing Commander Malice will open this planet up for corruption and lessen Imperial influence. My blades are sharpened and ready for battle. We've located the enemy. We suffice. Support order acknowledged. Alright. Support fire ready. Being corrupted. Excellent. Word will soon spread that the consortium is back. I'm sure Jabba is aware of our movements. Setting up a racketeering operation on Shola will let him know that we're back in business. Vision log updated. Okay. Recruiting. Recruiting. Group two more defilers just for. Thing. Okay, next is Shola, yes. My skills are yours to command. Recruitment cancelled. Recruiting troops. Oh, that's suspicious. 
to oh no, the pirates. Assault squad reporting. One more assault squad and I'm good to go. Assault squad reporting. Excellent. Now that we've muscled in on Java's action, we have some credits to work with. I've identified Mandel hypernautic supply shipments as an easy next target. Hire some pirates to ambush them. Why Mandel hypernautics? I can only rely on my strategic intuition so long, Yurai. Raiding the supply ships will provide us better equipment than what the huts are using. And how will raiding their supply shipments gain you ships? If the Mandel supply ships are suddenly being raided, they'll need to take appropriate steps to ensure security. Vision log updated. Recruiting. Recruiting. Well, I shouldn't have upgraded my star base. I don't have much money left. I might crop that one as well. expects your best today. If everyone does, we'll be facing the Mandalorian clan chieftains attempting to defend the space above their planet. Their proud warrior tradition means this will be a fight to the death. If that is necessary, there they are. They will be taken care of. for destruction. Go. Actually, let's do this in battle cam. Battle cam! This is a cool little feature. You press spacebar in this game and it makes it play out like it's a movie. There we go. It's another world corrupted. I've successfully defeated the Mandalorian chieftain. The continuing raids will soon bring them to their knees. Soon after you escaped, I went to recover the artifact from its hiding place. Java must have given up half his criminal empire to buy that ancient puzzle. I'll bet he expected to double his wealth by selling it to the empire. <laughs> Even at twice his price, the empire would have paid 
Far too little. So you found out what it is? I did gain some information. The artifact dates as far back as the Sith Wars, making it around 4,000 years old. For such an artifact to be so well hidden for so long, it must contain a secret. Alright. Uh, anyway, that ends part two. I shall get you guys for part three.